So today is another day the Lord has made. And this is the day three. And what we want to do is I've already identified the components them. So by now, I expect you to look at the board and be able to point out capacitor, resistor, transistor, relays. Now, one of the most marvelous thing in electrical electronics is you having your multimeter. If you don't have your multimeter, you are just like a farmer with cutlass and no file. So, you don't file your cutlass. So, an electrical engineer student or a, a technician or an electrician without a digital multimeter is just like a farmer with cutlass and no file to sharpen the cutlass. So, this, this, what I'm teaching you here is an experience gotten from so many years. I'm going to show you how you could use your meter to check out for this component and figure out the one that is bad. It's part of the component identification. So, let me start with the relay. Now, from the previous video, you we thought something. So let me start from the relay. The relay you see here, if you look at the back, this is the relay. This is one relay. Relay had five legs. This one has five legs. One, two, three, four, five. This place and this place is where you power the relay. This, this, these are the contacts. So it's just like, here is the coil. Let me say, then I put the terminal at the front. Then the contact is here. Then I switch it to one side, one and two. So this is this is the relay. So meaning here and here is where they power it from, which is here and here. So the center leg here. Let me have one of those relay there. Let me have one of those relay. Let me have one of transistor, one resistor, one diode. Okay, so this is the relay. As you can see in this one, give me another type of relay. As you can see, these are where they power it. This is the contract. This leg is linked to this one for this type. Uh, so this one is normally closed, normally open. Now look at this one. They made it clear. You see the contact, the coil, that's the symbol. Learn to understand circuit diagrams, it will help you. Now this leg is the contact. Here is the normally closed, here is the normally open. Now what is written here, this is 12 volts. The normally closed is 30 amps, the normally open is 40 amps. They are telling you the switching capability. That's why they use this for 5,000 watt stabilizer. Because if you were to do your P is equal to IV value, let's say the P is your 5,000, which is equal to IV, the voltage is, let's use 230, 5,000 divided by 230. Somebody do that calculation for me. Divided by 230. What did you get? Is that correct? 21.7 amps. So meaning they are estimating that no matter the switching, so this switching is 30 amps, which is still okay. Which is still okay compared to what this one can switch. 
which is approximately 22. So this is all about relay for now. So don't get confused on relay. Don't get confused on relay. So that is all we are doing for relay for now. Then we switch to transistor. The transistors there here you see uh, C1815. C1815. So this is the C1815. How do you read it with your meter? You switch your meter to diode. Transistor is made up of two diodes. Let me sketch it. This is your transistor. Internally, it's made up of two diodes. So here is the base. Here is the collector. Here is the emitter. So if you are reading it, meaning you put your positive probe here, negative probe you read here, you put this one here, it reads. The difference is that the doping of one is higher than one. So I have a transistor here. Let me read it and let me see the difference so that you understand. I have a transistor here. So I've already known that C1815, the first one, this one here is the base. The center one is the collector. This one is the emitter. So I'm already aware of that. But let's just read it for ready's sake to be sure that it's okay. Now, watch what is displaying. Are you sure this is C1815? Don't mind them. This one is not C1815. This one is S9040. S9040, the base is at the middle. I'm already aware of that. If you don't know that, just pick it and goggle it. And if you want to goggle it, let's say you are looking for C1815, you can just say C1815 pin out. Just goggle. So any of the transistor you are adding or any of the IC you are adding researching, just add pin out and I will show you their pin configuration. So C1815, let me come up again with my reading. Now watch, 0 0.644, 0 0.644. Let's switch to the next one, 0 0.639. If you watch, meaning the emitter, uh, the collector is slightly smaller than the emitter. So collector, this one we have something 0.639 and this one we have something 0.644. So the emitter is slightly higher than the collector. That is how transistor is being read. So, so with this method, you can troubleshoot transistors in any circuit as long as it's bipolar. So this is this cannot only be applied on stabilizer, on other stuff. So if I say, let me read it. I'm already aware that the base is at the middle. Let me check whether this one is okay. I put it at the base. Put it at the collector. I got six zero point six four zero. Put it at the emitter 0 0.5, 0 0.45. Okay, so meaning it's okay. This is how you go for the next one. You read it, it's okay. And so we are done with relay. We are done with transistors. Resistor, color code for now. I told you to check on color code. You would have by now checked on color code and see how it is. And diode, you can read it. It will still give you the same normal reading. Diode flows only on one direction i mentioned it when i was doing transistor so let's assuming this is the diode now i put my meat so cathode anode so 0 0.538 which is still okay it's still okay let's go to the next one it's still okay yeah Diode does not easily got spoiled. What easily got spoiled in majority of what is bought at times is Zener diode. 
we always have one senator that is always at the board. It's as if this is it. Did you notice the reading? Normal diode gives you 0. 0.5 something something. But Zena diode value is higher. It's giving you 0. 0.6 something. So I will give you 0. 0.7 something, which is still okay. Then this one is just normal signal diode. This one is, and the signal diode is, it reads the same thing like normal diode. This signal diode, the value is uh, IN4148. This normal black diode you see it used here is IN4007. This Zener diode you see here is 7.54 Zener diode. But before it passes through the board and gets to the IC, you will not be having something 6.5 to 6.2 to 6.2 volts before it gets to this IC. Now, we by tomorrow, we will go for the IC. I don't want to complex issue. I don't want to rush it. But I just want her to be going gradually. So we are done with relay. We are done with transistor. We are done with diode. We are done with resistor. That tomorrow I'm going to focus on the IC and variable resistor. So once again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do. And I'm giving all this free lecture because my birthday is coming up April 28th. So I just want to see what I can, how I could contribute to the society and give them a free value of these things then. I've been studying these things for nothing less than 10 to 15 years. So majority of everything here, I'm already aware of the in and out. Immediately I hear that, immediately they say they had a problem of this. Some at times, I don't, some at times I'm already aware of where I'm going to check. Because I'm already good at it. So this is the board. So tomorrow we will work on this IC the variable resistor and after we have done with that the next one is to be bringing that is to segment them the circuit diagrams so you can join the whatsapp group so that you can ask your question it's easier for me to see it on the whatsapp group than on uh, youtube because whatsapp is always open to four so join the group you can make your comment there you can make your suggestion there. So on your own, let me just give you an assignment. Go and get your meter if you don't have your meter and do the experiment yourself. Figure out the resistors and the diode, the transistors. Try to get your meter and read them and see what you get at the end of the day. If you have challenge in the reading you are getting, you can chat me up and I will give you more detail on what you need to know in reading this component. So once again, I am Robinson Egwe and, and this is Robin Tech. So this is Miracle trying to fix this 5000 watt stabilizer. Don't be scared when you see it big like this. They are the same process, the same principle. Uh -huh. What you see in this small one is the same thing you see in this big one. So don't get confused on what you are seeing. It's trying to fix that up. So once again, thank you for watching.